Welcome back, folks. This is the game. The, the game with Parvati and the Vicar. Who is supposed to go to my ship, but he is still here. Uh, wh what are we doing? Well, for one, I might want to get rid of some of my garbage. Can I do that at a store? Where were they? Where are the stores? I'm sorry. I'll just be a minute. Uh, okay. A minute. Next one comes out of your I still haven't found the one girl who spoke to me like a million years ago. Unless, you know, that bird has flown. It happened and it won't happen again. Excuse me, where are the shops? What is this? Choice Cantina. Can I uh, sell stuff at her cantina, maybe? I wonder what I'm doing. Workbench? Happens? It is a workbench. Okay, then. I don't remember what I installed for you. Do you still have something? I think we have the zap, right? We have the zap. I don't have anything for the barrel. Well, science. But it still happens. Oh, you're talking about the workbench. Need it. Okay. Was that stealing? Oh my lord. Travel tickets. Uh, I'm sorry? Something failed to start up? What? what? Can reproduction line uh, at heat processing? Something is going terribly wrong around these parts. But that's not my problem. All I want is a shop. Hey, you hear about Wilson? And now that I want one, I can't find one. When I don't need them, they're right in front of my face. Missions. Let's get back to it. Journal. Retrieve the logic module. Uh, this is for uh, that guy who gave us the gun. Divert power from the geothermal plant. Deliver reads a uh, message. Let's go do that. Which way are we going? It just sucks that it won't show me the outside of the map. Now I don't know if I'm exiting in the right direction or the wrong direction. Also, am I even recording? I, I wasn't checking. I just pressed buttons, hoping that the, the game runs smoothly and everything. Apparently, yes, everything works just fine. Where is that? Yeah. Huh, it's not too far off. The map is not extremely big. It's pretty straightforward. Like, so far we've been working around um, this zone. And my ship is uh, here, I believe. So we made the trip from here to there in less than uh, 15 minutes. So I'm guessing right after we fix uh, the... I also... I almost said boat. Right after we um, we fix our ship and we get to the uh, reactor or whatever the the thing the thing we the battery the huge battery we need to um, and get uh, the the boat the boat oh my god the, the ship into gear we're out of this place and that's that Now, the thing with these people is that I would like to negotiate before we do something drastic and put these people into danger. I have not been in here before. I knew it. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. I have to sell my junk. Hello, Pravati. This can't be right. There must be a way to give her my things. How did you guys die? I didn't kill you. Did I now? They're more otters though, aren't they? Just take it. Things I will never ever use. More apple juice. I like that. Weapon parts? What do we do with weapon parts? Um. It is for repairing our current gear. 
Fun times, Barrel. <laughs> and uh, Pavari, I'm heavy. I can't, I can't deal with this. I hate it so much. Yeah, this is um, one of the starting things, so I don't really need it. We got a shitload of these guns, too. And these guns as well. No, no not this one. Excuse me? Light machine gun, 320. It's not an assault rifle, though. 180. I'm selling that. I have only one of these, and then, oh, we have a shotgun as well. A plasma rifle. Not a lot of damage on this bad boy, but hey. We're almost there. Oh, speaking of which, I haven't found how to holster my weapon. If there's a holster weapon option, I want to know it. Mouse and keyboard, edit key bindings. Okay. Uh-huh. We have a weapon radial? Hold R to holster, really? There we go! Finally, I don't I don't wish to see my hand 24-7 holding people at gunpoint. Move along, stranger. We don't want any trouble. I don't want any trouble either. We can be friends. Grace Romero. I don't know you. Whatever you're looking for, it ain't here. Move along. I like your scar. I'm uh, looking for Adelaide. I need some answers. Answers, huh? You must be one of those philosophicals. Already got ourselves one of those. I don't like your tone, miss. Um, should we just like cut to the chase, tell her about the geothermal plant? I mean... I don't want to talk about Reed yet, not to her. She's already, like, pissed at me. I'm looking for uh, the geothermal plant. Know anything about it? A geo what? Look, plants ain't my purview. <laughs> you're better off asking after Adelaide. If you're gonna start wandering around my camp, know that I got my sights on you. And mine on you. Where can I find Adelaide? Over in the hothouse, tending crop. Enough with the questions. No offense, but I've got a lot on my mind. You and me both. <laughs> Thank you, game! You and me both. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to repair my ship. Well, look at you. Buzzing around the Aether with your very own ship. Rest of us gotta make do with the ground at our feet. No, I'm sorry. That was unworthy of me. Lady named Zoe went missing some nights ago. Just up and vanished without a trace. Now I'm pacing around wondering if Marauders got to her. I think I can help you. I'll keep an eye out. It's not like Zoe to go wandering. Figured she might be out scavenging, but that ain't exactly her talent. Can't imagine where she's gone. Vale's a wide place. She could be anywhere. Are we about to go play detective? Because I'm all for it. Oh my god, this is terrible. Unless more others got to her, then parts of her could be in a lot of places. What the fuck? What is this response? Don't worry about it, I'll find her. Appreciate it. Honest. Are we friends now? I've got questions about Zoe. I'll tell you what I can. Any idea where she might be hiding? Vex me. If she told anybody, they ain't telling me. I'd check her room, but I got yelled at for snooping once already. You snooped around in her room? Little ways ago. She was always obsessing over her serial dramas. Wanted to see what the fuss was about. 
who isn't. How well did you know her? Well, enough to know we never got on. Zoe and Stefan were close. If anybody knows the workings of her mind, he does. I don't want to say any of these things. Let's change the subject. What is it? I'll leave you be. I'll come back if I can't find anything. Did you kill all these bird dogs yourself? Good job, girl. Nice. Parvati, why are you missing some of your health? What have you been doing? If you're hungry, there's meat turning on the spit outside. If you're bearing illness, find a place to lay your head down and I'll fetch you a poultice. Whatever your troubles with Edgewater, leave them at the gates and be welcomed here. Any questions, dear? I'm already digging this place. You must be Adelaide. I have been called that, among other things. Green Thumb, Grandmother, the strange old lady who keeps flowers. But yes, Adelaide will do just fine. Excuse me, Miss McDevitt? Sorry, it's just... You got such pretty trees in here. Why, thank you. You're Robert's girl, aren't you? I remember when you were but a sprout. Thomas speaks of you often. Are you staying long? You should try some of my tobacco-horn tea. I brew it in an old spittoon, but it's been cleaned. Is that weed? Tea? Tell me more. Also, did you guys realize that she's got toddler eyes, even though she's, I don't know, around 55, 60, mayhaps? Is this your greenhouse? No, dear. The garden belongs to us all. Communism! Life is the gift of the universe, and the universe yields its bounty equally, absent of prejudice. I could live here. Aren't both of these kind of rude? I'm surprised you've managed to grow anything out here. The soil around the Vale went sour years ago, but I found a way to sweeten it back up. The secret recipe is a little bit of elbow grease, a dash of love, and a heaping pile of special fertilizer. Looks like you've made a home for yourself out here. A home for anyone who's ever turned their backs on Edgewater. Communism! A home for those of us with nowhere left to go and nothing to lose. So like the spores of the puffball, cast on the wind and alighting on fresh soil, we put down new roots. I like her, I like what she's building here, and I would hate to extort them into moving back to this dump, Edgewater. Why did you leave your old home? It is an unpleasant story, dear. But the short of it is that sometimes one wakes up and realizes the place that was once her home for much of her life has changed. The home in which we spent our lives has left us behind, and so we must move on. And that is as much as I will say on the subject. Yeah, you didn't elaborate on that very much. Uh, Reed sent me to make peace with you? Big air quotes on peace? Reed Thompson? You here on behalf of that cold-eyed reptile? Yes. Let's hear it. What's Reed's idea of peace, then? Yeah, good question. Yeah, that's bad. <laughs> I wasn't really listening. I mean, maybe. Something about coming back to town or losing power? I wasn't really listening. I can't say I blame you. Reed is positively soporific. That he is. Like everything else that comes out of Edgewater, that peace offering is canned. I and my own are living just fine out here by ourselves. Reed asked me to divert your power over to him. He mentioned a geothermal plant. He would do such a thing. The question is, why would you agree to his plans? I didn't quite agree. Your camp has a power regulator. I needed to repair my ship. 
cannery's got a regulator. You want ship parts, you ought to rip them out of the cannery's guts and leave us be. If you're going down to the plant, you should divert power away from Edgewater and toward our end of the grid. Think about it. You'd be liberating an entire town from a lifetime of service to that odious cannery. Seems the sort of thing a hero would do. I am not opposed to that idea. A hero to you, maybe. What have you got against the town? You've seen that miserable excuse for a town with your own lamps. I have. Hollowed out workers laboring their lives away at the cannery, living off whatever scrap spacer's choice throws them. You know that's true, don't you, Ms. Holcomb? Your father died of overwork. His heart gave out. He, he was tired all the time, sure, but he was old, ma'am, and he raised me all by his lonesome. Look what they did to this child. Lost her family to the company, and still she defends them. This kind of reminds me of Frostpunk, and I haven't played it yet, but I know the, uh, the general idea. Hmm. Let's say I help you. What happens to Edgewater? Life in Edgewater grinds to a halt. The cannery shuts down, workers desert in droves, and our own little camp grows and thrives. I mean, it's her way or the highway, and I prefer her way. You think Reed's just trying to spite you? I mean, he basically just wants his workers back. That's... that's it. He doesn't really care about her specifically. I'll consider it. I trust you will listen to your conscience. Oh, it's getting complicated. Do you have anything for me? Something you need? No. She has nothing to say on the matter. You guys have so many doors! What's this then? Divert power from the geothermal plant. Atlet refused to return to Edgewater, hit the geothermal plant and redirect the power. Botanical lab. So, we have to make a tough choice here. This or that. Stefan Garcia! You hungry? We got canid ribs, canid flank, canid snouts. I could go for some candid snouts. Something I can help you with? What? What is this? Did I mean? I forgot. What is this? Also, yeah, what are you selling? I have some garbage to give you. Fresh off the limb. And that includes canid meat. Oh, just food. Your merchant skill is equal to the value of your best dialogue skill and is used to negotiate prices when buying and selling from vendors. Yeah, let's sell some stuff, shall we? Uh, you can have the sentry blade. Hold R to repair, E to sell. There we go. Got a lot of things to give you, as a matter of fact. 89 on that one. Couple of revolvers. Uh, I mean, let's do it that way. This is much easier. We got a lot of... Uh, wait a second. This is the exact same thing, isn't it? Looks like it. It's very heavy, too. I'll give you that. I'll... Uh, am I using this? Two of the same... Plasma rifles, I only got one. Let's keep one in the inventory until we get ourselves another one. I'm looking so much better now that we don't have that much stuff. Three, three, four, four, six, four. When did I get this? 6% discount? No, 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 that's for, for buying stuff, right? Yeah. Um, hold Z to sell the junk. Oh, so all these things are junk. There's no crafting, apparently, which I very much appreciate. Something I can help you with? 
I don't know, did you have another uh, dialogue option? Yeah, this. What is that? I'm told one of your numbers gone missing. You mean Zoe? Yeah, we were pretty close. Not like her to go loping off. You are Stefan Garcia, of course. I knew your father. Let's take it from the top. Sorry, I was having a, a sip of coffee. Tell me a little about Zoe. Zoe was always obsessed with this cereal. Masked marketeer. A scion of Byzantium turns to banditry and teaches his marauder companions the wisdom of free market economics. Shame she up and vanished when she did. I had a surprise lined up for her. You sound like some type of corporate fixer asking all these questions. I just ask you a singular question. What happened on the day Zoe disappeared? Zoe and I were going to watch the serials, as is our custom. She never turned up. I looked around, but she was nowhere to be found. Was she acting strange? Can't say I recall Zoe ever acting strange. Well, except for her habit of writing things down on scraps of paper. She called it journaling, but I think it's just plain odd. Why do you think that's odd? People just keep notes all the time. What was that about surprising Zoe? The other day I got my hands on a genuine copy of the latest Masked Marketeer. I was gonna surprise Zoe with it, but she was gone the next day. Hold on, there was something else? What else? Hey, I got time. Hmm, maybe we have to look into her room first. Is this her room? No, I think th that looks like a... Like a cannery of sorts? Okay, everything is stealing. Don't freak me out. Uh, the, the, what's your name? Parvati! Parvati. Right. Let me see the quest. Where does she live? Home for clues. It's this one. Perfect. Investigation. Let's do it. So that's it then. No more edge water for me. It's out in the open and nobody told me about this note someone must have seen it the the girl the, the guard in the beginning said she was in her house right she didn't mention any notes no more cannery no more jumpsuits and gloves yes ma'am and would you like another's i don't know why i'm writing this down for posterity's sake because i've always hated the cannery and i don't think i'll ever have to look back to this journal many years hence and tell myself oh wow i did hit the veil once didn't i just because i got sick Everybody gets sick. Well, okay, I got sick and I grabbed a little too much uh, Adrena time. Is that really crime? I gotta treat myself when I'm sick, don't I? Whatever happened to personal responsibility and surviving by one's own bootstraps? Oh, uh, but you misappropriate one box of Adrena time and suddenly you're committing larceny. So she did get in trouble. Or she's on drugs. Still poster? Mine now. What am I supposed to do with a poster? Is there something under the carpet? Oh. Good news, I'm alive! Starting to feel a little better too. There's a group of deserters living out in the old botanical labs. They found a way to grow some food. Or something that passes for food anyway. Adelaide boiled a pot of something green and leafy. And told me to drink it twice a day for my symptoms, I suppose. It tastes atrocious, but I've been feeling better. It's nice to be away from the cannery. The labs have just enough power to run an either wave. So I've uh, been catching up on my serial dramas. Mask Marketeer, what would I do without you? Go crazy, most likely. Crack up, murder all my neighbors, and run screaming into the hills like some wild marauder. I don't know. That doesn't sound too bad. I could see myself leading a cater of marauders. A band of bandits. Wait, that doesn't sound right. Band of bandits? What would we call ourselves? The Formidable Fourteen. The Hundred Hooligans featuring Zoe. Bandit Queen. Did she really run away? That must be the last one. Well, today is the day, Zoe. Today is the day you take your destiny into your own hands. I've been listening to Grace talk about the Marauder threat. 
Bands of wild, free-spirited bandits living in camps out in the hills, warming themselves by the light of barrel fires. <coughs> Probably mounted the heads of their enemies of spikes as a warning to folks like me, living a life of comfort and ease, free of any rules. I bet they could take the whole region if they were organized. I've been tucking away some of Adelaide's food, and I've got some spare cans of Sultuna. Should last me a couple weeks if I ration. Got some Adrena time too. Everybody loves Adrena time. Even Marauders, right? I got odds those Marauders will let me throw in with them if I, I can read any. I can't read words today again. <clears throat> with them if I dangle a couple syringes of Adrena time before their eyes. This is gonna be great. Look out, Terra 2. Bandit Queen Zoe's origin story has just begun. I'm gonna have a whole gang of Marauders at my beck and call. Maybe I can even score some Ritos. Oh shit. She ran away. She became a bandito! Hey man, uh, I have some more questions for you. D don't you know about it? You, you talked about the journal. You must know about it. Is this stealing? Yes. What are these? Can it? No, no thanks. Something I can help you with? Yes, please. I've got some more questions. I'll help if I can. N that's it? Ah, oh, shit. Um, well, we have, uh... That was easy. Emerald Vale Community Center. Uh, which one is closer? I'll fast travel, sure. I'm a lazy bum. Oh no, I think this is further away. It's fine. We'll get there in no time. Let's go, Parvati. I still feel like you're missing some of your HP. I don't know what happened to you, girl, but you better fix it. Oh, Jesus Lord. Primal Nest Disca... Are those... Monkeys? Gorillas, rather. Here they come. I thought that explo... Oh, it's a container. I have second thoughts about engaging with these things. Pavadi? Something tells me we're in deep shit. Well, not me, you! <laughs> oh god. They can barrow too? Got him. Primal hide, nice. She's not having a good time back there. What on earth? We may. They give good experience. Listen, I shouldn't be doing this. I have a job to do. I shouldn't be killing primals. Let these poor animals live. Moroder hooligan! Melt! Ow! Ow! I need to take cover! Oh god, everything hurts. Carvati, don't you want to take cover too? I'm out of bullets, are you serious? Oh, sorry, I'm shooting at you. You look exactly like a Marauder. I mean, you, you are wearing the same clothes as they do. Holy shit. You got him? Damn, you're you're good. I thought I had a million bullets for my pistol. Apparently, I was wrong. No matter. We we have bullets for this one. How did I run out of bullets for this? What kind of bullets does it take? Uh, yes. I woke everybody up. Is that a grenade? That's the last of them. 
Pravati is having a great time. And so am I. Is the game a little too dark? That's a little better. What? Light ammunition. Nothing for this gun. What the heck is that gun? I'll take that. Energy cells. That was quick. Riot control helmet. This one is new. Show it to me. 69 out of 90. Nice. Seven. Oh my god, it's pretty. It looks abysmal with the rest of the clothes I'm wearing, but... Now I look a lot prettier. So many bodies. She's just chilling in the back. I just killed all your friends. She didn't seem to mind. I, I don't think she's very upset about that. Take it. Adreno. Okay, this is gonna hurt a little bit. Ah. ah! Found you! Wow, you crossed them all off, like some sort of heroic accountant running down a list. Teach me your ways. How old are you, girl? Why are you out here? You're Zoe? Your people are looking for you. What? You mean Adelaide's little congregation of nature-loving nobodies? I could not possibly be less interested in them. You, on the other hand, you were a sight to behold. If I had half your skills, I'd be the greatest outlaw the coast has ever seen. Hold it right there, young lady. Hold it right there. These people care for you. I need you to clarify something for me. I'm great at clarifying. I bet you are. Why did you leave the camp? I got kicked out of Edgewater on account of falling sick with plague and stealing some medicine to treat myself. I'd heard some outlaws set up camp in the botanical labs. I decided to throw in with them, seeing as I always wanted to be an outlaw myself. Instead, what do I find but a bunch of former workers camped out around a greenhouse. I couldn't just go back to the cannery, so I was stuck with them. She looks pretty healthy, as opposed to everybody else we've met so far. Are you a prisoner here? Uh, no. I insinuated myself into their company, see? And they didn't seem to mind one whit. I'm impressed. How'd you pull it off? I may have bartered them a few boxes of Adrena time, Drugs. but I'm sure that's got nothing to do with it. Absolutely not. How are you even alive? I don't know. The vital processes that constitute the miracle of life are mysterious and unknowable. Oh, you mean around these guys? The marauders wouldn't hurt me, they love me. I'm practically their queen. Yeah, it must be my natural charisma. Yeah, well, there's nobody to worship you now because I killed everybody, so you might as well, you know, go back home. Well, something else, actually. I've got all the time in Halcyon. I've been sent to find you. Why? Adelaide wants me back on garden duty or something? Thanks, but I'm not going anywhere. This is where I belong. We have the persuasion, baby! You should go back. People are worried. And that's not a lie. I doubt that. Nobody in that camp really cared about me. What about Stefan? You two were friends. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Also... He could carry on a conversation, unlike these hooligans. I'll take my stuff and head on back, I suppose. 
Grace is going to be glaring knives at me. So I've got that to look forward to. You'll get over it. Take care, I guess. Freaking weirdo. Oh my god. Delinquents! The worst lot. Now, before we go, obviously we have to take everything these people have to offer. Three things for the taking. Eh, not much, though. This place is a worse dump than Edgewater. Well, that's done. That was easy. Again, not much to loot, so... I suppose we can fast travel back. I don't have to walk all the way... And deal with the monkeys. I don't want to deal with the monkeys. Fuck monkeys, man. Fast traveling is beautiful. And you should be doing it too. I have arrived. Ugh, hide that. Grace Romero. I'm so happy to see you. What is it? Jesus, girl. I talked to Zoe into coming back. We didn't always get along, but I'm glad to know she's safe. What happened, anyway? That's a long story. She joined up with a band of marauders. They hadn't hurt her. Zoe joined up with a band of marauders. Zoe. The same Zoe who doesn't know a barrel from a trigger. Well, I've heard stranger things. You pretty much did my job for me. Least I could do is pay you for your trouble. Oh, yes, please. Let me know if I can do something for you. Wait, you didn't pay me already? You just gave me experience. <laughs> and we got perks, and you know what kind of perk I'll be taking. Uh, we can travel encumbered or carry more. 50 kilograms of extra carrying capacity. You got it. That was a no-brainer. Uh, so far the persuasion skill, I think it's quite high until it isn't. But we haven't had any trouble uh, convincing people into anything so far. Stealth, uh, lockpicking, hacking, maybe some extra points in there. Let's do 45 on that bad boy. Some on ranged. I mean, I'm focusing heavily on dialogue options and stealth, so maybe we should stick with that for now. Bring that to 50 if we can next time. Time dilation location hits. I also forgot we have a slow-mo thing. And I never use it. I mean, I didn't really have to. Nothing terrible happened. We didn't fight a boss. Most of the mobs around here are harmless, pretty much. You have unlocked location hit effects for tactical time dilation. Hitting enemies in different locations during TTD maims or cripples those body parts. Try different locations to see the different effects. Hits to the chest produce different effects when using different weapons. So yeah, the TTD is my cue. Which, uh, what is it called in uh, Fallout terms? I don't remember. I'll remember it at some point. <clears throat> I will Google it at some point and remember what it was. But yeah, it's. I, I think they're talking about the same mechanic, pretty much. Deserter's reputation in increased. Increased, not decreased. I, I was scared there for a moment. So... The botanical lab is in Edgewater. Huh. Maybe I should do this, because these guys are part of uh, Edgewater and they might be very displeased with me because I helped uh, the other dudes. Um, these? Where? Where? It, uh, what is that mission anyway? Oh! Oh! Yeah, okay. Let's finish that up. We already started doing this mission like... Uh, a couple episodes back, but I never actually got the time to do it. And look at that, it's close by. What kind of ammunition do you take? Not this one, this one. Energy. 
Is it? Oh, no wonder we don't have many. Yeah. I have light. We have plenty of light. Is this the same exact weapon? But this one deals... What does this deal? Is it fire damage or something? Damage type plasma. This is 137, this is 131. I'll stick with the assault rifle for now. Can I swim? I've always wanted to poke around in here. Me too! Not a peep for me. Oh, there's a fence, goddammit. Do as I do. Be very, very quiet. Stinky, stinky cheese. Hey, you might not want to touch that. Just saying. I can play that game. Parvati, did you touch it? I told you not to. Can't see you, buddy. Just keeping yourself busy. If this guy walked out, that means we can walk in. Pravati, I don't know if you noticed, but you're dying on me. And she's dead. Hello. <laughs> Feeling better? Parvati, you are very weird. No need for that, I got him. Everyone all right? Yes, all of us. Well, all right, you and me. Me and you. Eat your nose. I don't think this is uh, associated in any way with the deserters, so we can do it freely. The control room should be off to the right. Thanks for the spoilers. I'm on it. I'm on it. Wait. Oh. Of layout is this? Your terminal memory purged. Really? Access file. I had to borrow your copy of the Young Spacer's Guide to Mechanical Engineering. Radio's been spattering, and I needed the reference. I've returned the copy to the repair bay. Okay, was everywhere mechanicals gone haywire. Gunfire, hearing some screams. Oh, no, I think that was someone's leg. Would you like to live early for the day? Please deduct delinquency fee from my pay. Thank you. Proud to be a member of Spacer's Choice Family. Whoops, I pressed the wrong button. I don't think they made it. I hear a robot. Transition to... Emerald. No, 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 we're not leaving just yet. Boink. I got no worries, no worries. Oh my god. Are we going to hack every. Si oh no, some of them are open. Whoa, what are these? Got some new stuff here. Nine! Holy moly. Worker's outfit. Ten! Heck yeah. Oh my god. Pravati? Pravati, we need to find a workbench right meow. Well, this is also a hiking up. Is it though? I need 70. It's fine. Well, let's find the keycard. How hard can it be? Unlock the dorm! Enter passcode? Oh, I don't need an actual 
passcode for it. Chester Higgins again, that Hull had found him fiddling around with one of the mechanicals, so I had to write up for tampering with company property. Just in case I'm reading this a couple days from now and feeling bad for what I've done, let me just remind myself that I've warned him before. He's always been a little crooked in the skull. He was working on some logic module, confiscated it. Should be in my lockaway room for the foreseeable future. Who are you? Something Tanaka, Chief of Security. Got it. Doesn't sit right with me. Common has been replacing on guards with auto mechanicals. At this rate, I'm gonna end up at Chief of Security with no staff. No, no, it doesn't right around. Can blah blah blah. That looks important. Worst has happened. Mechanicals gone crazy. Locked myself down here. Just trying to gather my courage. Gotta make a mad dash for the control room. Might be able to shut things down. I'll delete this entry if I ever return. He didn't return. This is an automated message initiated by Spacer's Choice Worker Safety Contingency Protocols. Security lockdown has been initiated. This is not a test. Your behavior during this lockdown will be reviewed during your quarterly audit. Anxiety is a common side effect of life-threatening situations endangered by security lockdowns. Fight back against anxiety with an ice-cold bottle of Zero-G Brew. Zero-G Brew, an ale that's good for what ails you. Ads in my video game? Unacceptable. Wish I could do that. The door is now... Oh, it's not open? Oh. It's extremely quiet. That's the last of them. You just kill stole it! How dare you, Parvati! Incoming! Incoming? Are you sure? <laughs> oh, the AI is dumb. Why am I not surprised? Oh, who's this man? What you got on you, buddy? Some mods, I'll take them. Sneaky little bugger died uh, behind the staircase here. Unable to locate target. Please Unable to locate. I'll uh, give you a target. Parvati. Oh, Jesus Lord, I'm running out of bullets. There we go. What is this? Parvati? I pulled a lever. Parvati? I don't know what that did. I wrote a copy of the Young Spacer's Guide to Mechanical Engineering. I think it's volume 3. I need something to read down in the pit. Much obliged. Higgins. Access repair log. This is who? Just in case I'm audited, I would like to formally express how grateful I am to be a part of the Spacer's... Yeah, yeah. To finish the routine maintenance on our mechanical sentries. Nothing seems to work fine, however. Open all the doors. Changing room. I will take those clothes. Standard troop helmet. Can it be better than the one I'm... Whoa. Good lord. Could I have the set, please? Earrings. Please, someone, give me your armor. It's so good. I'm so happy to be here. This made my day. Why are there gremlins down here? Of all things, how did they get inside in the first place? I, I think I just got a mouse. Ooh. What on earth? Wait, Phantom. Higgins! 
Holy shit, this man is still alive? Where are you? No way, Phantom. I'm not a phantom. I'm, a, I'm just wearing an armor. The fuck are you? No, no, no. Just leave me alone. Are you all the way down? Parvati is not following me. Impact hammer, hello. No way, Phantom. You're not real. You're not real. Get away from me, Phantom. Shoot, scram. <laughs> Can we do this? I wasn't trying to startle you. Most people don't see me coming. Huh? Most people? But I'm the only one left. No. Remember your first rule, Higgins. No arguing with the phantoms. See? See, Higgins? This is why you must always boil your sprats before ingesting. What are you on? You're not imagining me. Of course. Do excuse me. I experience brief flashes of mania during which I am visited by the phantoms of my imagination. Chester D. Higgins. The D stands for definitely not insane. <laughs> I use it as a reminder. Okay, I thought the D was for something else. How long have you been down here? Hard to say. By my reckoning, Higgins has been here somewhere between two weeks and forever. My recollection's a touch fuzzy these days. I hate the fact that you talk about yourself in the third person. Uh-huh. And uh, what exactly do you do here? Oh, Higgins has been many things over the years. Sprat Wrangler, Saltuna Critic, Aether Wave Personality, Chairman of the Board, Galactic Defender, Sisty Pig Tycoon. What? I've come a long way for someone who started off as a simple engineer right here in this plant. You were an engineer. I specialized in auto mechanicals, drones, sentries, repaired them, maintained, upgraded, did it all from my old workroom just over in the next section. It seems to me you're not doing a very good job. Right. Was that before or after you became um, a Sisty Pig Tycoon? Oh, before. Definitely before. Sisty Pig Tycoonery was the apex of my long and storied career. How have you been surviving all this time? Jimmy'd opened the vending machines. That lasted a good couple of months. Eventually, I had to resort to more unconventional means of filling my insides. So, you ate sprats. Sprats are the little gremlins that uh, lurking around? Braised. Boiled. Charred. Skewered. Sprats are good eating, friend. Chock full of brain food. Gross. What happened to this place? Mechanicals lost their bolts. Opened fire on anything that moved. It was pandemonium. And you weren't killed. I was on cleaning duty at the time. My old boss had me scrubbing pipes when the killing started. So, as usual, I missed out. If you worked on these mechanicals, you must know a way to stop them. Look, I don't want to fall into any trouble with the mechanicals. If they wise up to our plans, they will come for us. With prodding irons. Intimidation, persuasion... I can deal with them. I made it this far, didn't I? You know, you remind me of myself back when I was an intergalactic adventurer. I discovered a flaw. Their hostility levels were hardwired to maximum. There's no changing that, but you could rewrite their targeting protocol so they attack each other instead. I like that idea. Mechanicals follow the behavior of their logic module. Someone tampered with it. Yes, that's exactly it. I see you're also versed in the noble art of mechanical engineering. Yeah, a little bit. There's a behavior control terminal in the other room. It should have options to change how the mechanicals act, including whom they shoot at. Oh. Uh, that reminds me. You'll need my passcode to access the behavior control terminal. Here, let me just write it down for you. Wait, divert power from the geothermal plant. Isn't that where the deserters take their power? Oh god, I'm so confused right now. Any idea where I can find a logic module? Funny thing. 
I was working on a logic module just before the mayhem started. Security chief found me and confiscated the logic module. Uh, mm-hmm. The tail. Definitely start with the tail. If you're feeling adventurous, the ears are a particular delicacy. I did ask you about eating the spreads, please. Actually, hang on. Forgot what you were gonna say? Me too. Fucking weirdo? Okay then. Let's uh, redirect those bad boys. Security Chief's corpse. What do we want to do first? How do I use ladder? There we go. Is it on this floor or the floor above me? I think it's on the floor above me. There's nothing down here anyway. Gotta be the place. Gimme. Light machine gun. Isn't this the same? Oh, Yoink! Bard. This has to be on the same floor. Eh. Still don't understand what I did there. Why did we pull that lever? And there it is. Logic module. Get. Now, how do I redirect uh, the, the things? Ludwig Miller. No, 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 no. Hold up, hold up. We have some other business in here. Are we saving this guy? Are we gonna leave him down here? Divert power to... from the geothermal plant. I propose that you divert the geothermal plant's output to the botanical lab. We can do either or from the same exact spot, so it either goes there or it either goes to the other direction. Okay, got it. Now, that's weird. I thought I could redirect the, the thingamajig before I left. Damn it. I will take the energy cells, I need those. I didn't find the armor. I wanted the armor because the because the helmet is so good. Ah shit, how do we get out of here now? I don't remember. Dooby dooby doom, dooby 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 doom, be doom. Nope, that takes me back to the core. Necklace. Is it up here then? Exit, okay. Here goes. How did I forget about you boys? Fast travel here. This guy is right outside of town, right? We just have to look in the right direction. Oh. Hey. I found you your thing. Bring us honor, soldier. No thanks. You mentioned a logic module, I found one. Bang up work, soldier. You're a credit to your uniform. Oh, well, that reminds me. Gotta look into getting us a uniform. So this is it then. 
the key to humanity's victory over the mechanical hordes. I would reward you with the gratitude of the resistance, but I'm guessing you want something tactile. Yeah, that's right. So here's a couple of bits for your trouble, and a little something to remember me by. See ya! Oh, maybe bits are not ammunition? Just muns? I don't know anymore. Install a mod. We have better armor now. I'm seriously thinking of doing one uh, into my helmet. Oh my god! Plus 32.5% in crit damage, you got it! Yes. What other thing are we using? Um, pretty satisfied with this weapon? RPM, magazine size, shock, plasma... Oh, 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 I already have one here. How about this? Extend all sights. Do I want to turn it into a sniper rifle? Let's try it. I'm curious. It's a good weapon. I mean, it's a decent weapon for the level we are. Modify... What are we wearing right now? Is this the one I'm wearing? Repair all equipped. Yes. And yep, that's what the weapon parts are for. Which one is the one I'm wearing? Hmm. Hmm. Install a mod. We got nothing there. We got... Uh... Physical armor rating 3, this is the one we just did, I think. Melee weapon skills plus 5, defense skills plus 10. And finally... Oh, carrying capacity plus 20 kilograms! That's nothing to sneeze at. Awesome. Okay. The last thing I gotta do is divert power. But this is something we're gonna do in the next episode of The Outer Worlds. Until then, thank everybody for watching, have fun, whatever you do, take care of yourselves, and do not forget, keep on gaming. I will see you all next time.